This is a quick little video to show you how to manage the new Sask Fashion Week website. First thing you want to do is, uh, well, firstly open up the website and then open up a new tab. In this tab, go to manage.squareflow.com. This is the page that you need to access the content management uh, system from. Um, type in your username and password. <coughs> Once you're logged in, you'll see your dashboard with your toolbar um, and you will also see a quick uh, overview of your site's traffic. First thing I'm going to show you is how to create a page um, and then in this video I will also show you how to manage your navigation just to order uh, that page once it gets dropped in the navigation. So first thing is create a page. Uh, here you can see the pages that I have created. Now I'm going into a new page and I will call this page just test um, for now. In this field you can add some keywords. As you can see I've got this uh, set up already. Um, these keywords will show up in your navigation bar. So you can see here is actually the test page that I created previously. Um, and that's where it will show up. Uh, so if we go all do this by just test to um, I'll add some more keywords here then give your page a, a title or a heading there you go and then provide some uh, test copy so I'm just going to copy this content here what you can do next is add an image click browse then select the image you want to upload. <clears throat> we'll start by uploading this image. You'll notice that this image is quite big, it's 1600 pixels wide. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, just set the image to be 506, 560 pixels wide, which is the exact width of the column. Uh, and what happens, well, as soon as you upload an image, the system will throw a tag at the bottom of the page. So you can cut that tag and paste it uh, wherever you want. In this case, I'm going to put it at the top of the page. I'm also going to add another image. This image is a lot smaller. It's 252 pixels wide. Um, here, the tag has been thrown at the bottom. So I'll take that and I'll uh, just chuck it in there. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm in, instead of saying, instead of setting the image to, to be full width, I'm actually going to set it to be left aligned. When when you click either left aligned or center aligned or right aligned, you'll notice that it automatically specifies a width for that image. In fact, when you go back to the full width, it'll also specify a width of 600. Now, like I said, in this case, the website's width, the, the column is actually 560, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, but I'm going to select left aligned here. Now, the 300 is actually a little bit bigger than what my image is. This image was 200 and something odd um, pixels. But we'll let it slide for now and let's just see what it looks like. Um, when you hit publish, the page will get created and a new tab will be added in the, navi uh, in the navigation. So let's just go back to the site and we'll hit um, reload and keep your eye at the top here um, and look for the new page as the page reloads. So here's my new page, test 2. If I click on it, there it is, there's the image that I uploaded and there's that second image that I uploaded. Um, I'm going to go in and make this image a little bit smaller. So I can go, firstly I'm going to delete this previous test page that I created. Um, now I'll just click in here and all you do is you just specify the width here. And what I'm also going to do is um, I'm going to set it to be right aligned. Now as soon as I click this, it's going to set the width back to 300. So that's just something to pay attention to. Now the image is going to be, although the image is still showing up on the left hand side, it will in fact be right aligned um, and so what I'm going to do is just specify my width again as 200 and hit publish. Now this image will be smaller and will be um, right aligned. We'll hit reload and there you see that's my, my new page or that's how the page looks now that I've made that change.
Once you've uh, created a page, uh, the tab will get thrown in the navigation, uh, as you can see there. Now what you're going to want to do is move that around, so you can order your navigation as you please. So I'm going to put this tab right after Photos, and then hit Publish. If you go back to the site and hit refresh or reload, um, you'll see that that tab shows up where you placed it. You can also create drop downs. So if I say, for example, I want um, these three tabs to be a drop down of photos, then I just drag them to the right, then go back to the site, hit reload. Wait a second, and there it is. Um, you could actually take it one step further and create a drop down of a drop down. So, what I will do here is set my structure up like this. So, there will be a drop down of blog, and then there will be two tabs underneath test. And I'm in fact going to move this up to there. So, hit publish again, hit reload. you'll see there's your navigation. This is how you create a basic static page. Um, one last thing to show is if I want to go and work on, if I'm in my navigation module and I want to go work on that test page again, you might feel inclined to just click on the pencil here to go and edit that page. Um, what would happen in this case, since you're in the navigation module, is that that would actually just allow you to change the wording of that tab. Um, it doesn't actually allow you to edit the page. In order to edit the page, um, you need to actually go to the Pages module and then uh, click Edit Delete. So there is my page. It, it maintains the original name that I gave it, although I've renamed it in the tab, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, one other thing I just wanted to quickly show, with any image, you can just select that tag, then go create a link. So if I want to, for example, link that um, one of these images to a particular um, blog topic. In this case, we only have one blog topic at the moment, it's news. So what I'll do is I'll just, um, I'll click on this blog topic. I'll copy that address. I'll go back and I'll tell that link to link to, or this image to link to that blog topic. So now if I go back to the home page, or sorry, if I actually go back to the test page, and I click on this image, it'll now take me back to the blog and show me the topic news. There you can see.